morning, guys. Um, so uh, Jessica's gonna show a little move that I think we picked up in Brazil, right? Oh, Jessica's. <laughs> oh, Doug's gonna be mad. Doug, oh, hey, it's part Doug's too. Uh, For, forever Samba. Full guard. Samba. Samba. All right. Um, so to start this move, just start. There's the close guard drill where you come in for the spider guard and you bring your feet and you transition. Um, this one in particular is just from knees flare. Keep your elbows in. Um, you want to keep their posture down. And uh, it's pretty simple. You're gonna take. Let's start with your right foot. Bring your shin in front of their neck. You want to keep this pulled down because you're going to kick through. Swing this leg, clamp on top. I have his arm pinned already, and I lift up for the arm bar. Um, a few important things. So you're flaring. We're bringing this in. I want his elbow to come up under my hips. I don't want it below, otherwise there's no arm bar. So when I kick through, I pull this arm across. And my hips come underneath here. I don't even have to extend much. My knees stay pinched. So start from closed guard if you're not comfortable. Just start from there. Keep both grips. I bring my knees in. I flare them out. You can scoot back just a little. Bring your shin in. Keep it up. Don't let your knee come this way. We're going to keep it out. Pull. Push the wrist over. Clamp your leg down. And very simple. It's almost choking. Yeah, you're right, your right shin, are you pushing it up? Mm -hmm. it, it feels like it. I'm keeping it flared because if I just set it here and I go to do the arm bar, if it's just sitting here, he can put like. Push it's all over. loose. It's very loose. But I really do feel like a. Oh my. You put an hour expression with your right knee. Yeah, I'll show it from, a, from this side. So I come here and my toes pointing. I'm basically pulling and pushing so that he's stuck, I believe. And then whenever I kick through, I rotate. And I keep this tight to pull the arm where I want it to finish. Bring the leg down over the top of his head. Once you get really good at this drill, um, you can like just go back and forth to the side. Make sure you pull the arm across. Come back in. So shin in, kick, pull, clamp down, hands on the wrist, hip up. One thing I'll say when she uh, when she went from closed guard to the spider. When she did this, she's not, this isn't just for looks, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'm like, I'm cold down right here. So there's tension. I can't just like come up. Like, this is really flared strong. So that's what gives her the ability to push in on this one while she kicks the other one through. You know what I mean? It's it's keeping me stuck really, really well. And when she comes through with that across my, my neck and throws the other one over, it's, this is really pushing. She's really curling this leg really, really strong. Like, I feel like, like, let me get for a second. I feel like there's a good scissor right here. Like, her legs are going together so this is pushing up and this is pulling down really hard so like almost like it does feel like a choke you know what i mean does anybody have any questions about this at all that's what you say your foot's flexed yeah. me. it's not that my foot's flex it's more like my whole leg is putting an upward pressure on his on his head because don't forget about the sleeve grip like the that's pretty much what's keeping you know the arm bar so it's like here like he's not moving you can't really i think whenever you have that grip you can't move you're just pinning him and you're finishing the arm bar. Because you can do it, you can kind of do like a flying arm bar, like you know, you see me yeah. like that. Even if you were to stand, I could easily finish it just by keeping my hips and my knees together. My legs pinched. If your legs are, if that top leg's curled down, it's going to be very hard for me to stand because your head's going to be bent down. Yeah, don't put your leg on the top of their head here. Bring it on the top of the neck. Thank you very much. And it really does, you should feel, as your partner when you're drilling, if they feel like I choke on them. So one more time. So. Lay your knees out, but pull this down so that like Josh try to like yes. posture anything. So like I'm moving with him still. And I keep this one, both your grips. And so I'm flaring on the elbow too a little. I think that helps. And then when I kick through, come down, not here. He can still get his head out on the back of the neck. Just like arm bar from guard. My knees are very close together. Any other questions? How are you putting uh, pressure on the tips with me? Your feet, whatever the transition from closed guard and first flaring your legs on, like are um, your feet controlling the tip too? Well, like I've shown you, like I guess I'm pushing off his feet, like I'm just keeping these here. I'm not gonna like let them down. I think keeping your feet on hips is part of this open guard yeah. right here. She's you know? pulling in with this, pushing with her legs, so it's almost like a push pull is what's keeping the tension on me. I can't go forwards, I can't go backwards. 
see what I'm saying? Yeah. The feet are pushing and the hands are pulling. I do push, pull, move. Push, pull. And she almost entices move. me to move forward, which allows us all to work very well. See what I'm saying? Because I feel this come off and I feel this pulling. So it makes me want to go forward, and that's when she pulls it through and throws a layer of time. Any other questions? Three straight. Right. Let's do the honors. Un, deux, trois. <laughs> 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 Parisian necktie.